Review, 2023 Acura Integra recaptures glory of days past. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you. Thank you. It hasn't been 5 minutes into my drive of the 2023 Acura Integra and I've yet to take a corner at speed, but I already like this car. The way the steering firms up on the freeway, the adaptive damper's ability to smother bumps while contributing to a planted feel, the snick snick motion of a Honda slash Acura manual shifter, it all adds up to a new Integra worthy of the reverence car enthusiasts have for the endearing Integras of the 1990s and early 2000s. My test car is an Integra A-Spec with technology package model. At $36,895, it's the only way to get the manual transmission. It sits atop the lineup, yet it costs $10,000 less than the average transaction price for today's passenger vehicles. Buyers can spend as little as $31,895 and still get a 5-door hatchback with a premium ride, a high degree of refinement, and a 200-horsepower 1.5-liter turbo 4, but the 6-speed manual is far too fun and this model's extra equipment is too generous to justify spending less. Balanced Dynamics The new Integra has nothing to do with the underwhelming ILX it replaces. It rides on a version of Honda's global small car architecture that's modified for the Integra. It's made of 33% aluminum for lighter weight, it uses high-strength steel to reinforce key areas, and Acura further strengthens it with extensive structural adhesive. The Honda Civic C is its closest sibling, as both cars use the same 107.7-inch wheelbase, but the Integra stretches 6.8 inches longer and is 5% stiffer than the Civic hatchback, according to Acura. The Integra uses a McPherson strut suspension up front, sorry, no double wishbones like the good old days of the 1990s, and a multi-link independent rear suspension. The tech package model employs adaptive dampers, a first for the Integra, and when buyers choose the manual transmission, Acura throws in a limited slip differential. Acura engineers did a great job of tuning every aspect of the suspension. While the adaptive dampers really help already good ride and handling, the tuning of items like the 27mm hollow front stabilizer bar, solid 17.5mm rear stab bar, 18mm on the A-spec, and a large rear compliance bushing, among other elements, create this kind of premium ride quality. Most of my time is spent in the tech package model. Cycling through the drive modes, the ride is soft but controlled and it never firms up too much, even in sport mode, which also improves body control. Through corners, the car leans little, tracks a consistent line, and the A-Spec's limited slip differential helps it put the power to the pavement without spinning the inside wheel. Thrown hard into a corner, the car first responds with slight understeer that can change to oversteer by lifting suddenly off the throttle. Skilled drivers can take advantage of that in an autocross, but stickier tires than the A-Spec's standard all-season 235-40 or 18S, and especially the base model's 225-50 or 17S, could allow more.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.